had a recent question sent in and someone actually had mentioned to me, hey, I published my first book, should I use Amazon ads for books? I'm gonna cover that question and more in today's video, so stay tuned. Hey, I'm Dale L. Roberts, a best-selling author as well as a self-publishing advocate who wants to show you how to publish books that sell. And if you want that too, make sure, of course, that you subscribe to this channel and join me on Twitch every Monday at 12 p.m. Also, if you have Amazon Prime and subscribe to me at twitch.tv slash self-publish, you'll get a few extra freebies. Stick around to the very end because I'm gonna show you an overview of setting up Amazon ads for your books. Okay, so you published your first book. What is next? Naturally speaking, you're gonna to wanna to make sure that you're marketing and promoting because hopefully you're not just relying on just hope alone and that Amazon's gonna go ahead and promote your book because they just don't do that. So where should you promote your book? You might be thinking to yourself, maybe I can do Facebook ads, maybe I can do Google ads, and I've even heard maybe Amazon ads is right for me. Now, I'm just gonna recommend, my experience is Amazon advertising is far easier than the previous two I'd mentioned in Google and Facebook. It's cheaper and also you're reaching a warmer audience versus other audiences, say for instance, that are on Facebook that are wanting to share their meals or watch the latest cat video. And you know, with Google, it could probably be served up in search traffic, but when people go to Amazon, they go to Amazon to buy things. So naturally, you've got a warm audience when you're using Amazon advertising. Okay, so should you use Amazon ads for your books? Since you're new to things, this becomes a bit of an intricate answer. So the very first thing is, it depends largely on your niche. First of all, if you're a nonfiction author, then the answer is going to be yes. Only if, this is a big if, if you have some things put into place, if you have, for instance, a call to action in your nonfiction book to subscribe to your email newsletter, if you have some type of call to action to go to your website, you always gotta make sure that you have some type of way to bring the audience from Amazon inside your book over to your world in which you can start to upsell them on additional products and offerings. Now, when it comes to fiction though, ah, I'm gonna have to say not yet. I know, you're probably thinking, but Dale, it seems really good, it seems lucrative. The problem is, is when you have only one fiction book, it, it's a bit problematic because someone could buy that, but then the transaction's in there. There's nothing else for them to buy. I mean, you can get them to join your email newsletter and you can probably promote affiliate products or additional fiction books of other authors, but you don't have too much of a back end to speak of. No, there are exceptions to the rule, but for the most part, I think for fiction authors, you need to build a backlog, a back catalog, so that way when you do advertise your books through Amazon advertising, then there's more products for them to buy through because we wanna make sure that we're taking the customers through a journey and you as a fiction author need to have something beyond just that one iteration. I'm not telling you you shouldn't do it, but I'm telling you it's probably not a good idea just yet. Now, if you're using Amazon ads, I'm gonna go ahead and give you a few tips. And as per usual, I can't promise anything ludicrous, but one of the things I want to say is do not put money into it that you cannot stand to lose. Remember that as you're going into this, you're going to pay to learn how to use this platform. It's important as you invest that money in your ads that you go back, figure out what is working and what isn't working. So what I'm saying is as you invest in Amazon advertising at first, you're essentially paying to learn. If you turn a profit, that's fantastic. Okay, so we're gonna start really low. I mean really low, at about a dollar to $10 per day. You're gonna select a sponsored product ad don't worry about lock screen ads. We're gonna focus on sponsored products. It's the easiest way to do things. And then you'll select manual targeting. Once you get manual targeting set, we're gonna go ahead and put it to dynamic bids down only or fixed bids. If you try to do dynamic bids up and down, the problem is, is you're saying to Amazon, uh, go ahead, reach into my pocket, take as much as you would like or as little as you like. And unless you know the platform really well, it's never a good idea to say, take more from me. 
eventually in due time when you start to find some good winners then chances are very likely you can probably start to utilize the up and down but for right now i'd recommend if you're new to this down only or fixed bid you're going to select standard ad now you can go and do a custom ad if you want to and if you feel real froggy about your ad copy if you're a copywriter then that's custom made for you for now keep things simple a standard ad is just going to show your book to the browsing customers and there's no not necessarily ad copy so it's going to rely heavily on the look of your book as well as the title now for the keyword bid i'm going to suggest that you never choose suggested bid ever okay friends don't let friends choose suggested bid you're going to use custom bid we're going to set it at 10 cents i know i got a lot of people groaning out there like oh my gosh how are you ever going to get impressions on some of these it's okay we're going for the low hanging fruit at this point there's going to be some specific keywords that might usually run about a buck 50 or so we don't want that for you we want to find some quick and easy victories and at 10 cents cost per click that's pretty doable and it's not going to blow through your daily budget and now we're going to want to put in upwards of a thousand keywords my preferred way of doing things is using publisher rocket if you would like to see exactly how it does in this screenshot here you see me go ahead i grab a specific root keyword that's related to my book and i go ahead and get go get them rocket and then i'll just copy and i'll paste each one of these keywords over into my campaign and if you're cash strapped you can always go for something like google ads keyword planner and use their keyword planner uh, keep in mind it's a little bit arduous to actually get a google adwords account set up without doing an ad but if you go up set up an account you can pause an ad campaign and you should have keywords planner available to you and then when you're all set you're just going to go ahead and launch campaign it typically takes about 12 to 24 hours for amazon to actually approve your ad and you're going to want to make sure that you monitor it daily do not take this lightly and especially at a dollar to ten dollars per day it may not seem like very much and you may not even come to your daily budget but it's a good idea to see what's working and what isn't working be mindful of the keywords that are performing and what i mean performing is there's going to be impressions which means your ads being served to customers then there's going to be clicks that's what you're paying for is the clicks you want to really zoom in on the clicks itself because we want to make sure they're converting to sales so i always try to look at my impressions to clicks to buys ratio and i really want to see that ratio coming down considerably i like to think you know in most instances unless the actual keyword is really high priced at a cost per click i like to see it right about one in ten clicks converting to a sale hey if this is all greek to you that's totally cool guess what i've got an entire video series it's short it's a two-parter you're going to join me on over there it's amazon ads for books go on down there and actually have an expert here marco motino shares a little bit more insights and kind of walk you through the whole process i'll see you in the next video